In celebration of Kimo Tiemann's 1,000th career game, the Philadelphia Flyers all wore the number 44 jersey during the warm-ups before taking on the New York Rangers. If you can't be at the game via subway in Brooklyn, you can catch the action on Comcast Sportsnet regionally or follow us on Twitter at Al Sports Update. Tip-off is at 9. It was a day of raffle prizes, flat screen TVs, but more importantly to the Flyers organization, it was a way to say thank you to their fans. After being shut out against nationally ranked Rutgers in the second half, the Owls were hoping for a more consistent 60 minutes of football against Pitt. The Owls have not lost three games in a row since 2009, but now Temple returns home to the Lee Course Center looking for their first win in the A-10 as well as the new year. Welcome back to Al Sports Update. We've got some gymnastics news that will make you flip. After nationally ranked season and sending nine athletes to back-to-back -to -back ECACs, the coaches of the men's and women's gymnastics teams were titled Coaches of the Year. Here's Update's Chris Williams with more. For most job applications, a company may ask for a copy of your resume, an interview, or even a reference. But for one job, it's all about how fast you can run a 40, how much you can bench, or even how long you can clear a football. So you know what that means for the first time in the Dumphy era. Franz Five were featured in the third round of the NCAA tournament, but for the Owls to remain on the dance floor, they would have to win against number one, Indiana. The Hoosiers claim their dominance first by winning the opening tip and striking on the boards first. But one Owl does not take the Indiana Open lightly. You know who I'm talking about. Wyatt takes a ride on the seesaw, puts the Owls on the board with the no kiss off the glass. Owls down three, but Randall tries to tie things up behind the arc. He would miss, but does not give up with a powerful steal and drive. The play gets weighed off. Randall gets charged for the offensive, but look at the pickpocket job again by Scooty. He collides with Indiana's Jordan Halls, who would leave for the rest of the first half with a shoulder injury. But the Hoosiers' hurry up offense does not slow down. No, quite the opposite as Will Sheehy gets the throw down. Temple does find an answer, and his name is Khalif Wyatt. He goes on to score the first 20 of the Owls, 24 points. All right, and take camera two. Cue him. Win or Ready, one double box. The same for Temple Good. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. To Chase is going to say Jared update to Leon, and that's when we're going to take it. Become the legendary voice of Temple Athletics by utilizing soothing, I'm going to tell you, ready? Play by play tactics, Donahue offers his listen, listeners a sense of comfort. Take double box. Take it. Is in the newsroom. Ready, camera one. On Temple's legendary broadcaster, Leanna. Thanks, Chase. Take camera one. Philadelphia sports Good. Fans All right, now get out of double box. The legendary Harry Callis. The Eagles yep. is the one. infamous one. Merrill Reese. For Temple, many right, ready, of the Hall of Famer Harry oh, beautiful. Donahue. Beautiful. And I got the chance to talk to him about his 20 years and counting with the Owls. Roll C. Take it. Okay. At guard, a 6'4 senior from Norristown, Pennsylvania, number one, Kelly. 33 points at the Garden and 34 against St. Joe's. Khalif Wyatt seems to play his best on the big stage, helping him surpass the 1,000 point mark halfway through the season. Yeah, I know that's what they need from me, so I mean, for us to be the best team that we can be, I know that I have a score. There are many different numbers or statistics to summarize the career of Khalif Wyatt, but for the senior guard, it's more about the moments he will remember in his four years at Temple. For ESPNU Campus Connection, I'm Seth Wozniak. We're here at the Flyers Wives Carnival where many fans came out to support the Orange and Black and great charities. It's fantastic to see this many fans come out and support the Flyers charities and the Flyers Wives Carnival. I know it's a tradition that everybody's been so excited to make sure that we were able to have it go off this year and to see the fans come out and fill this building and winning prizes and the energy is fantastic. A little boy came up and he was like, what do you get in there? And I'm like, I can't really tell you, but it's a surprise and he opened up and he had a sign. This is what I've been waiting for. We're having fun. I think we had like 12,000 people. They show up today, maybe more, and everybody feels the same. You know, it's a good time. My favorite part is definitely the dunk tank. I was uh, I was in there last year for quite a long time, so uh, I had a good time. It was in there. It was nice warm water, so I can't complain. And uh, this is only my second time, so I'm kind of new to this still, and I'm just uh, I'm still taking it all in. Definitely this. It's, uh increase my safe percentage and reduce my goals against. Seems like all the girls, they, they beating me all the time, but uh, you know, I, I feel like I'm getting better. Some kids in the back keep telling me what I need to press, so I uh, give some tips, so it's actually 
this time is my best uh, so far finish, third right now, so it's pretty good. I think my picture taken with Dave Schultz. I got my picture taken with Bernie Perron. It's pretty exciting. Doesn't get much better. Some of the new events in the building this year to spice it up and give a new flair. They have tours of the press box, and actually I think where my husband does his press conferences after the games, they can go out, people can go in there and do mock press conference, take pictures, have some fun. It's just a different scene behind the scenes that fans get to embrace throughout this great day. That about wraps it up for the Flyers Wives Carnival. It was a great day. Make sure you're here next year. For Flyers TV, I'm Seth Wozniak.